You can import SOLIDWORKS models into Visualize by using the Import command and select the settings for your project in the Import Settings window. The options available depend on the type of model you import. I can import my SOLIDWORKS file in several different ways, such as using the File drop-down menu and selecting Import, or by using the Project drop-down menu and selecting Models, then Import Model, or I can simply drag my file of a water bottle from an Explorer folder window into the viewport directly. Once the file is loaded, the Import Settings window appears. The tabs on the left control the settings I want to apply to my imported file. If I don't want to apply a certain tab, I can click in the checkbox to unmark it. The settings default to the Geometry tab, and I need to select a Part Grouping setting, which determines how the model is structured in Visualize. I'll open the drop-down menu to select which grouping I want, either Component, Part, Body, or Appearance. If I select Component, Part, Body, it groups the model into assembly components, parts, and bodies, along with nesting sub-assemblies, mirror components, and associated folders. This setting also refines the parts based on appearance assignments and saves the SOLIDWORKS configurations, animations, and supports the monitor file functionality. If I select Appearance, Visualize will create the parts based on appearance, combine the SOLIDWORKS file geometry into a single part, and save configurations. This selection does not support the monitor file functionality. For this project, I'll choose Appearance, which applies the Snap to Floor option that automatically locks the lowest point of the model to the floor of the scene and the Instancing option that uses a single geometry definition for copies to save computer memory resources. Monitor file for automatic updates of the original file, and Apply Auto Paint for assigning a pattern are not used for this setting. When I click on the Appearance tab, I see that two options are already selected, the Auto Search for Missing Textures and the Manual Search for Missing Textures. If I have textures set up for my part, I can enter the search path in the box and click the Add Path button. The Ignore Texture References Select is unchecked. Animation is unchecked because the file is not animated. If I had created a Motion Study SOLIDWORKS file, this would be an available option. I'll uncheck Cameras so I don't have to use imported cameras and can choose my own in Visualize. I'll also uncheck Scene, which would import any environments, backplates, and lights that were saved with the model. And finally, I'll uncheck decals that would import any decals associated with the model. Now I can click OK to import my water bottle file into Visualize and select the models icon from the library to see how it imported the design. I'll open the water bottle folder and then open the merged parts folder to show the pieces of the model. Next, I'll select the Selection Tool icon from the Viewport toolbar and click on the Part icon. When I go back to the Models tab and select a part, it highlights in the viewport. To see how this design would look using the other geometry setting, I'll close this project without saving and then drag it again into the viewport from the File Explorer window. This time, I'll select Component, Part, Body for Geometry, Leave Appearances selected and uncheck Animation, Cameras, Scene, and Decals. When I open the folders in the library and explode the nodes, I see that the components are listed by their parts and assemblies as opposed to their appearance. Choosing the right part grouping is an important step and determines how you want to work with the model and visualize. But be aware that what works for one project may not work for another.